Hey guys, welcome to this week's video and this week we're going to take everything we learned about organic shapes and just in general about construction and I'm going to apply it to a furniture sketch. I, I haven't drawn furniture in a while and I was missing it so I thought it's a perfect opportunity to draw maybe an armchair. So let's get... What the? What did you say Clyde? Oh, we have a sponsor this video. Okay, let's check it out. Hey. I'm Robert and in this series of three videos you will see my process of approaching traditional pen and marker drawing. You'll be able to listen to my thoughts throughout the drawing process and also see the steps I take from ideation and exploration sketches through pencil and fine liner drawing all the way to marker rendering. All three videos are real time with minor segments sped up for time. I hope this video gives you an insight of how I work and how fun traditional sketching can be and maybe it will inspire you to go back to your traditional tools and have some fun as well. Yeah guys, it's just me. So this Gumroad video you can download if you would like to support me. It's a three hour and a little bit recording of me working and just trying to talk through everything I do, just share my thoughts, basically something that I, I couldn't put on YouTube because it's three hours, but also there's a lot of uh, tutorial material from me on YouTube. So I thought maybe just if you want to support me, this would be a nice way, but uh, yeah, no obligations at all. I will keep on posting on YouTube and I'll keep on putting tutorials. Uh, this was just a little side thing. Anyways, let's get started with today's video. And since throughout the last videos we talked about organic material and a lot about construction as well, I wanted to go and take that construction element a little further. As I mentioned in the intro, I really, usually I do enjoy uh, drawing and coming up with new furniture and I haven't done it in a while. And I thought, okay, let's try and apply as much organic shape to a piece of furniture as I can. Obviously, you could apply much more, but I wanted to stay in, in certain parameters. So I, I went for an armchair because an armchair could be relatively rectangular, but it can also really adjust to the to the shape of the body. And I wanted to sort of bring a little bit of, of roundness and, and a little bit of natural organic feeling into a, a armchair and that's that's what you see me doing here and uh, sometimes and not always but i do like sometimes to start with with a side and a front view just to have a better understanding but if i don't start with that if i start with a 3d view i do tend to do side and front views as well just because it helps me explain to myself how how the shapes turn how the forms turn how how what, what's, what's actually there, what I can't see from the actual angle that I chose. And since here I started with, with the side and the front view, it will be the after this that I start doing the 3D view or, or the three quarter view as well. And it's actually always, I would, I would always suggest that you explore your idea and drawing from several points of view, especially if, if you're, uh, well, I don't want to say young person who draws, but if you're relatively new to drawing and you just oh, really want to push out one nice drawing after other, that, that, that's okay if, if you want to do that. But if you're thinking about also designing stuff, it is very important for you to explore something. And this is sort of like building something in 3D and rotating which technically should be faster but I feel this just much more satisfying in, in, in a creative way when I draw something from one point and then actually I push my brain okay let's let's draw the same thing from a different point as well and as you can see me here in 3d I really use those uh, basic shapes that I've been talking about so so you see me being quite rectangular because I feel like okay so if I keep to this rectangular shape, I can really measure and, and try and draw as uh, precisely as possible. And you will see that even, even though I do this, I will mess up a little bit. I do go quite fast into the rounded shapes and I think that that might have been a little bit of the detriment, but also I didn't draw completely through the shapes and I, I drew through them a little bit late. Uh, and that will lead to some issues later on that you will see. I will have to correct uh, sooner than, rather than later. But either way, you, you, the, the important thing is that you can see me trying to build everything block by block by block. And even though I wanted to, this to be rounded and I will bring those roundings back later on when I'm, especially when I'm in the fine lining process and I'm in a, 
uh, rendering process, then it will really become more rounded. And that's where you will see the, the roundness coming back. But here you already can see that what I was mentioning, that I saw some problems in there. So I started just erasing and working a little bit more to figure out, okay, so what, what exactly is, is wrong here? Because I, I really don't like some what was going on. And I always, when I do this, I get a little bit frustrated. And to <laughs> work through that frustration a little bit, I tend to put in a little bit more detail than necessary, but that's just how I uh, come to terms with the drawing because I like to, I, I, just, I just like to detail because that calms me down. And yes, absolutely not necessarily uh, necessary to detail at this phase of the drawing, but that was just for my uh, state of mind. So I can calm myself down a little bit also. Like going in, in the, so much in depth with the legs, <laughs> really not necessary because uh, you will see in a second I will draw over everything anyways even for the for the line art and you don't need super uh, detailed sketch for line art just for legs because there's not going to be a lot of detail in there but anyways as I said I needed to calm down and I think somewhere around this point I'm going to lower the opacity of this layer and I'm going to try to just uh, start drawing again and what I was doing here, I was like, okay, let's let's simplify as much as possible. So I'm not even gonna use 3D shapes. I'm just gonna use planes. So that, that, that's what I started out here with. I use the plane where the person is sitting and the plane where the person is uh, leaning as with his back. And then from there, I started almost like extruding like you would do in a CAD, a 3D CAD application to just add volume to those shapes. And you can already see that the, the backrest was quite a little bit skewed to the, to the left from our point of view. And I wanted to fix that with this. And I think I, think I managed quite a bit because I felt much better the, about the drawing. And this is also where, where I decided like, okay, you know what? Let me also not do anything uh, rounded yet. Let me really hammer home these, these uh, shapes. And when I felt okay with, with these super uh, jagged edges, I knew that, okay, I can build on this. That's when I started a little bit with the rounding. Basically the legs, there's, it, they just follow a little bit the shape of, uh, of the chair. So there was not so much that I could round or not round. But here you already see me on the side, bringing in some of those details that uh, this, this, I also, I talk in different uh, videos about uh, cross section lines and section lines. And these really help with uh, selling the shape and the form of uh, an object. And just by adding also a little bit of shoulder there and then that section line going over it gives you a bit of more volume of uh, what's going on there. And from here, basically, I will blow it up as in enlarge the, the drawing, the sketch and just go in with the, the line work, follow it and just try to make it as crisp, as nice as possible. I did speed up the line work process quite a bit more just because you already saw me do the line work and the, the, the brunt work is in the sketching itself. The line work, you just have to pay attention to where is going to be the line weight, where is going to be a little bit of uh, lighter area, overlapping things, not to bring too much detail. So stuff like that I talked about before, but I think at least for, for this drawing, the, I didn't, the line work is not the most important part. And uh, towards the end, you will also see me uh, render it. I tried to keep super quick the rendering. I didn't bring in any photo texture or anything. I was just having fun with uh, some uh, soft round brushes and harder round brushes and really just following a uh, light setup that I had uh, in my head. But this, this is really most what I wanted to talk about in this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can connect it together with the, the, the previous videos and you can use it to create your own furniture or <laughs> whatever you would like to uh, draw. But yeah, make sure to watch the video to the end. If you would like, there's still things that you can take away and learn from it. Uh, but I will stop my commentary here and I'll just let uh, the music play. If you like this video, hit that like button. You know how that goes. You can also subscribe and hit, the, hit that little bell. If you'd like to see uh, more content like this, I try to upload quite regularly, almost every Monday. And you can also follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see more uh, drawing related stuff. And yeah, this week, <laughs> starting this week, I also opened my Gumroad and I plan on doing more 
in-depth tutorials there so you can check out there from time to time what I have uploaded and maybe, maybe you find something that's uh, helpful for you and you can also support me through that. But uh, that's really all I wanted to say this week. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time and see you next week. Bye-bye.